welcome back everyone ios 15.4 just officially came out so let's take a look at it on the iphone 10. now every time i boot up these phones like i mentioned i always have to go through the setup so it will take one second but 15.4 was a pretty big update it brought a lot of cool stuff to the table i would say you know it brought some cool things it brought some good things as well but the iphone 10 is kind of interesting because it didn't really get a lot of these features first of all this update came out to about 1.1 gigabytes on the specific iphone so if you're on 15.3.1 that's how big it was it's probably going to be bigger if you're coming from an older version so definitely keep that in mind now you can see from the release log 15.4 has the ability to unlock with face id while wearing a mask on iphone 12 and newer it also says this update also includes new emojis and new voice option for siri and a lot of other cool things as well so there's a lot of cool things added within this update now tap to pay was a specific feature that was supposed to be added to the 10 but it didn't get it the 10s and newer got that feature that allows you to get third-party payments and stuff like that However, this iPhone doesn't support it. This iPhone also doesn't support unlocking the iPhone with Face ID via a mask, so we don't have that ability either. We do have things like new emojis. So we have 32 new emojis added within this update, which is really cool. Like I mentioned, I love having emojis and I use emojis all the time. So seeing that type of capability added is really awesome. We also have the ability within Siri shortcuts to turn off those little notifications that come up that come up from the top so for some reason it didn't work for me before but it looks like it may work you know in the future so i think that's really cool we also have some new widgets specifically with an apple card so with this new apple card widget i think shows a card balance which is cool so that's another really cool thing icloud keychain for some reason got a ton of cool features so we now have the ability of adding some notes within our specific keychain passwords we can hide password alerts and there's a lot of other stuff that comes in with this update as well so definitely in my opinion that's probably one of the Another big thing that got updated within this specific update as well. We also have some new custom email domains if you are using iCloud Mail. SharePlay also got some capability. And for those of you who use a PlayStation 5 controller for your iPhone, you can now actually, at least the, when the developers support it, have the ability of using those adaptive triggers within your PlayStation 5 controller. So that's another really cool feature as well. Now, like I mentioned, I've only installed this update for a couple of minutes now, but should you install 15.4 on your iPhone 10? Well, like I mentioned, if you're already on iOS 15, I would recommend going up to 15.4 it's probably the best thing to do as of this point it's not a crazy monumental update but it actually brought a lot of stuff to the table so that's what's actually pretty crazy it's probably the biggest ios 15 update we've seen if you're on 14 and you want to stay there you know go for it but 15 is starting to become that new ios 14 i think it's becoming a little bit more stable but apple stated they're not supporting ios 14 anymore so that's kind of a sad thing really the only choice is going up to 15 or waiting until 16 if you want a jailbreak stay on the lowest version but other than that i would probably recommend going up to 15.4 at some point so that kind of covers it if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section below hit the like button know me so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then